You're not running, you're drinking milk. Come on. I'm sorry, look. Rue, I'm not chasing you. Rue, the baby squirrel, has lived indoors since becoming an orphan. A freaking cage. <laughs> but finally, he is big enough to be released to his oh. outdoor enclosure. Yay! Have you had enough? This is your new home. This series takes you on the journey of a baby squirrel growing up and becoming a wild squirrel. And in this episode, Rue goes outside again for the first time in a month. It was all going well, but Rue makes a bad mistake. Nut? Come on. No? Okay, fine. No, 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 you're not playing. You're not running, you're drinking milk. Come on. I'm sorry, look. Rue milk. is nine weeks old and has become quite the fussy eater. More, 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 more. I'm not taking no. Come here, come here. What's this? He only eats nuts that have been freshly opened and he just isn't interested in eating. Keep on going, keep on going. Keep going, keep... Rue. Yes, good boy. I'm not chasing you. He's on that. Back. Rue would much prefer to play chase. Here's some apple. Did you wee? Oh, you want apple? Fab. Thank you for that little poo. Very nice. Straight in the toilet. Rue's favourite room has become my office. More poos! Yay! Any more poos on the floor? And he'll easily spend an hour or so Come running on. around my chair. Come on. That's it. Boom. Rue you. easily forgets he has an appetite and has actually lost a bit of weight. I have to stop the fun and feed him. So it's after 11 o'clock and I've just woken up Rue and I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wake him up and feed him rather than just wait for him to be awake and feed him because he is still a baby and at this age his mum would come back into the dray and then he would feed. Oh, he's up. Please? Okay, fine. So he has eaten a whole hazelnut and he's had one syringe worth of milk, which is better than not eating at all. We thought we could make his release cage in a few days, but sadly it has taken much longer. We built a freaking cage! <laughs> yeah. Rue started biting the radiator pipes and I knew exactly what he wanted. Antler. A squirrel's teeth are constantly growing, so they frequently need to sharpen them. The previous owner of the house left this reindeer antler and Rue absolutely loves gnawing on it. I'm really treasuring these last few games and moments in the house because this might be his last day inside. <laughs> the enclosure was finally but, but, complete. You know I have it. A little bit. 
We're moving it closer to the house so it's more accessible it since Rue still wants milk. Squirrels live in a nest-like structure called a dray. A dray is usually made from sticks or it's a cavity in a tree trunk. We've made a box with two entrances. We can easily open it and the hoodie where Rue sleeps will go inside the box. And he can sleep in there and it feels just like home. Looks so good. We've just moved Rue's enclosure to the back of our house and today we're going to make sure it's secure, that he can't go under the fence basically and dig his way out and we're going to put some more activities and things he can run up and jump off of and then he'll go in. <laughs> Rue usually sleeps throughout the afternoons and will get up in the evening for a snack. Sometimes it takes him a while to calm down and go to sleep. And if we put him in the small crate, he will throw a tantrum and become hyper. So as funny as this may look, the best way to get Rue sleepy is gentle tickles. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and partnering with me for another year. I've recently added new pages on my website about the upcoming photography trips that I am hosting. It's so easy and quick to create professional web pages on Squarespace. There is also so many different ways you can present your content, which gives you a lot of opportunity to create something unique. If you're interested in Wild Iceland or my new trip, Wild Alaska, both will be absolutely incredible. Have a look at my Squarespace website. And if you're interested in giving Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% of a new purchase of a website or a domain. I've just given Ruth some milk and he's pretty sleepy, but he's going to go outside for the very first time in almost a month. Let's go. He's a bit nervous. Okay, we're locked. Welcome outside for the first time. Come on. <laughs> do you need to take you? What do you think? What is this? Off you go. Go on, be free. <laughs> Go on. This is 
strange place, Rue. You need to be a big squirrel. <laughs> Yay! Oh. After a nervous start, Rue was confident exploring his enclosure. <laughs> he still wanted to be close to us. That's your new home. But it was so good to finally see him eating leaves, gnawing on bark, and running around. <laughs> trying to get out <laughs> after 10 yeah. minutes rue had decided he'd had enough this is your new home outside rue had spent a month indoors so he can take all the time he needs to get used to his enclosure oh it's all right rue you want to go home <laughs> this is your home rue has been in his enclosure for what 20 minutes and he keeps going back to his crate and I think he's a bit stressed. He wants to get out, he can't. I think he wants to go back in the house. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> I think we'll bring him in tonight. It's quite late and we'll try again tomorrow. What do you think? It's very stressful, isn't it? Is that nope? I'm home now. This is fine. He's so much more relaxed. We've just come inside and Rue immediately calmed down and now he's falling asleep in Juan's hat. Can you see? <laughs> and he's totally relaxed now. So when he was in his cage, he was um, like squeaking or grunting, and that means he's annoyed or upset. And now he's asleep, super chill. He's a house squirrel now. <laughs> It'll take time, but he'll, he'll be, I think he'll be fine. For now, he just wants to sleep in Juan's hat. <laughs> The following day, Rue was feeling much more confident.
he quickly found the box and got comfortable in his new home. He now has the freedom to wake up whenever he wanted and to eat when he wants. It's been raining all day today, and yesterday really, and we haven't really seen Rue at all. From the living room window we see his little head pop out of his box, but he hasn't actually been outside. So I've got his milk, hazelnuts, pear, peanuts, and we'll see if he's hungry. Rue! Hello! Rue, what's this? Okay, let's leave him. So that's why we haven't been seeing him. He's just been putting all the food in his bed and just not getting up, <laughs> which is fine. Rue was feeling more active after the rainy day. Rue was making great progress. We visited him every day for 10 to 20 minutes. I usually put food in his enclosure the night before so that he can wake up and eat. We watch Rue from the house and he's finally met the wild squirrels. We also use a surveillance camera to monitor him. Distancing ourselves from Rue is the best way to slowly make him wild. We still give him milk once a day and occasionally his favourite snack, avocado. That's enough. Everything was going great. And then everything went wrong. We went to feed Rue this morning and we discovered he's broken his leg. So I've called seven vets and no one has been able to respond to me and one vet did say that we can't do anything about it but you should go to Alulia which is three hours and a half drive north and I called them and apparently they're not working today 
So we're going to make a splint to at least stabilize his leg and stop it rotating and wait for Monday. Today is Saturday. This has set him back at least a month. So the base of the foot here. We can do this. Okay, let me. I couldn't get hold of any vets in Sweden since it was a Saturday. So, yeah. so I spoke to three vets in the UK and Germany. Fruit. A wildlife vet encouraged us to make a splint to keep the leg straight. Rue was incredibly trusting. I'm sorry, Rue, I'm sorry, I'm Don't sorry. Turn, yeah. Sadly, the splint was a terrible idea. Rue chewed it, reducing blood flow. His foot tripled in size. And we carefully removed it. Sorry. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. What we did was worse. Yeah. I then followed advice of two other general but experienced vets. Left, left. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, just let... He, let this he should be like this. The good news is that Rue's leg was, was straight. Somehow he was doing this and this is why he was sore. Rue was prescribed cage rest. Rue was young enough that the leg should heal on its own. And as his muscles grow, it will strengthen the leg. I was so relieved that his foot was warm and Rue was incredible. The leg is warm. He knew he needed to rest. Rue is back in the house, living in a small crate. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> How's your foot? How's your foot? Supporting a little bit. <gasps> He's using it. A little bit. But maybe he shouldn't. On the Monday, I had mixed feedback from the vets in Sweden. One even suggested that Rue should be euthanized. One of the squirrel rehabilitators in Stockholm, who I'd been speaking with from the start, helped me so much with advice. And I want to thank Katarina and the vet Paul for their support during this stressful time. Incredibly, within five days, Rue was putting weight on his foot. We would let Rue out for short periods each day. Do you want some avocado? At least I can see a bit of movement in the fingers, the toes, yeah. now. Before he wasn't really using the toes. And also the angle is better. Oh, you've pooped on me. No, 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 where are you going? Wild animals are extremely resilient and young animals can recover quickly. I just couldn't actually believe Rue's progress. Are you hyper? Although it was likely a fracture of the tibia, Rue was back outside yeah, after 10 yes. days. No, 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 right, that's it. We believe Rue got his leg caught in the corner of the wiring in his enclosure. He may have ignored that his leg was stuck and pulled it, causing the break. There was a moment that I really thought Rue had to be euthanized. I'm so 
so glad I seeked out multiple opinions and I will never underestimate the resiliency of a wild animal. In the next episode... You don't like my microphone, Rue. No. Rue, 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 you can't do that. It's not edible. Rue finally recovers. Gotcha. And his big day Ready? finally arrives. His release to the wild. Where is he? <laughs> I am absolutely astounded by Rue's instinct to make a home in the wild. But Rue is probably the unluckiest squirrel there ever was. He's breathing hard, isn't he? Because Rue came home extremely sick.